Thank you for checking out this episode of Cross Country Living. In this episode, we are showing you some of our favorite moments from Durango, Colorado. We, sh we wish we could have stayed there longer, but this is what we could pack in uh, in about two and a half weeks of being there. And, and we just wanted to share that with you. And please be sure to subscribe to the channel and, uh, and like and comment. We appreciate the comments. And in this case, let us know some of the things that we didn't include that maybe, uh, maybe we should do when we go back because we're definitely going back and we highly recommend you get to Durango, Colorado. And just remember, you're watching where the destination equals the journey. First stop on our favorites in Durango was Durango Ranch RV Resort. We absolutely enjoyed this place. It's a private family owned RV resort and ranch. My kids loved the hot tub and they spent a ton of time in that hot tub. And another thing they had was this water trough and the ambient temperature of the water trough was about 40 degrees. I challenged my kids to get in there. They wouldn't do it. So I said, well, let me show you how. And uh, once I had taught them how to submerge themselves and subject themselves to this kind of cold water, they end up in and out of the hot tub in this cold water for the majority of our stay there and they absolutely loved it they couldn't wait to get back to go back in the hot tub sometimes i wake up in the morning go do it and then go in the evening and do the same so had to put that on the list just because it is uh definitely one of the favorites for our family well, well, like, oh. Wait, it's not friday well, so it can't be facebook live Let me, let me play. Since we are a family of four with younger kiddos, we are always looking for a good park to burn off that excess kiddo energy. Free Note Harmony Park next to the Animus River was a frequent place to visit for us. The kids enjoyed the park and boulder hopping next to the river. What happened? If you're all wet, if you're all wet, it doesn't matter now. You might as well just get in. The Durango fish hatchery was a special treat for us because it was the first time that we'd seen so many fish in one place. And so truly the kids had a lot of fun watching the feeding frenzy that would happen when they would throw the food in the water. So we spent a good amount of time here and you can just see the, uh, the, the size of the fish increase as they go through the various phases of their uh, life before they're turned loose into the local rivers. Here? Yeah, just throw a little bit. Ooh. <laughs> it's like they know. <laughs> they're gonna find all the little baby ones and they're gonna wanna feed them. And they're gonna talk about how the little baby ones get bullied on by the big ones. They wanna make sure the little ones get food. Are you feeding them all, Mama? Yep. Where are they? Uh, spread out. Okay. Where's the little one? Right there. Is that the littlest one? Probably. Oops. Here. I'm gonna get it right. Hey. Oh! Get some, little one. No, it just got swam over. It didn't even get any. Well, that's that's uh. <laughs> Unfortunate for that one. <laughs> All right, I think we're learning lessons about survival right now. He's little because he's not fighting for it. Oh, look, he finally got one. There we go. Finally. Dalla Mountain Park was a great place to do some hiking and some fall? light bouldering. Since we're pretty new to all this, uh, it was a nice place to kind of get introduced to this type of uh, outdooring. And so the kids had a lot of fun and even Charlie got to get off leash and uh, hike around a little bit. 
with us, so he, he loved it too. And Dalla Mountain Park is just northwest of town off of Junction Street. Another favorite thing that we did in Durango was drive the 550 highway, which is also known as the Million Dollar Highway. Uh, this road goes from Durango up through Silverton and on into Ouray and, and beyond. We drove this as the sun was setting uh, in, in September. It was a beautiful, beautiful drive. The trees and the colors were changing. Uh, we also had the colors from the sunset. Uh, absolutely recommend it. But here's the thing, you wanna plan that drive if, especially if you're going to do a sunset drive, see if you can stay the night in Uray and come back in the morning. Uh, ju just because trying to drive this highway at night is not, not the wisest choice, but we just didn't plan our day well because we thought, oh, it'll, we know it, the drive will take this long and then we'll come back and it'll be fine. But we didn't realize how many times we were going to stop and really just take the scenery in and walk around and let the kids climb and stretch their legs. So again, great, great drive. Highly recommend it lots of places to stop along the way and just you know plan to have a day there maybe do an overnight and come back the next day
Is it cold? Yes. Yeah, it's cold. Right. So freezing cold. Mama, I just like walking a mountain down. <laughs> you have to touch this. <laughs> it's so freezing. I'm a mountain down. So cold. Okay. As we were driving along, we came across this bridge that had a waterfall next to it and then kind of a parking area and and so we pulled over and went ahead and walked out on this uh, viewing platform and uh, you're going to learn something about me particularly in this video and uh, and it rings true uh, and probably will continue to uh, for the remainder of our journeys here in the RV life and that is I am not a fan of heights oh my god honestly this? No, get away from me. Get away from me. I can't hold the dog. I can't hold the dog. I can't do this. I can't hold the dog. Come on. Oh my God. Can we all be over here? I don't want to be over here. Oh my God. Do not climb up on there. I know. Oh, yeah. I'm just looking at this. Oh my gosh, I can't. This is oh my god. Dude, you are your swift movements are making me want to vomit. Come on, Daddy. Stop touching me. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you can walk, Daddy. It's okay. I don't want to jump. I don't want to jump. Oh my God. No, oh my don't God. jump on there. He said you could hop. That was amazing, though. <laughs> if you're going to go to Durango, you've got to ride the Durango and Silverton train. The, the scenic ride is absolutely stunning. It takes you up to Silverton, up in the mountains, and uh, you get off for about an hour and a half or two. And uh, you get to shop around, eat, get back on the train, take a ride back down. But here is a tip that we didn't know about before we got on and, and scheduled our train ride. You can actually ride the train to the top of the mountain and take a bus back down. That shaves down quite a bit of your day. If you got kiddos, that might be something you want to consider because about 30 minutes into our train ride, our kids were like, this is boring. And of course, we had another two and a half hours to go. So they ended up in really enjoying their time and uh, we're so glad that we did this. But, uh, you know, in retrospect, maybe taking the bus back down or ride the bus up and take, take the train down might have been a better option. But uh, nonetheless, an absolutely stunning, stunning experience. Highly recommend.
Thank you so much for checking out our video of our favorite things that we did in Durango, Colorado. We do hope you'll tune in next time to see what other adventures we get into here on Cross Country Living! Where the destination equals the journey.